Hi, I'm Rick Vine, and I'm going to take you back to my youth, and not really youth, I was probably in my 30s, and uh, came back to Colorado to visit the parents. Had, all, had my kids with me, and uh, had my, uh, my son, along my youngest was a son, and we, uh, we all went up in the foothills. Dad said, let's go see some of these Indian rings. And what are Indian rings? Well, when the youth would put their, uh, bring their tents along, uh, they would put rocks on the bottom of the tent to hold it in place. A big ring of, of rocks all the way around the tent, the TP. And when they got ready to go, they'd just pull up the TP and the rocks just got knocked away. And, and all, they stayed in a circle. So there were some of these in, up in what we call the foothills of the Rockies. And so you can see the Rockies, the high Rockies right in through here. But this wasn't in the high Rockies. This was on the edge there. And we were just north of Denver there a little bit. Uh, 50 miles, and uh, but anyway, we're and the foothills are a line of hills that run uh, parallel to the Rockies. They're not that high. They may be. They may go up to 6,000 feet, where the Rockies are up at 14,000, and then you have these series of little hills there, the rows of hills. And so we went in behind two of the, and we were. It isn't something anybody was farming because it's too rugged. They usually graze cows in there or something like that. But we went walking up through there looking in, looking for these rings. And, uh, and Dad and I and my son Alex, the three of us, started out. And meanwhile, uh, they, the three girls stayed in the car. And they didn't want to go out there. But So uh, so we were walking along, and Dad went up on the hill there when he was looking. And meantime, the girls said, hey, come on, Dad, we want to come too. And so I had to go back and... There was a big fence they had to go through, so I had to open the gate and whatever. But as I was starting back there, I said, Alex, go on up there by Dad. And he started running up there, and he gave this big scream. And I said, what's, what's going on, Alex? And he, just, he couldn't tell me. He was only like three years old. And so he just uh, uh, started running back toward me. I said, no, go on up there by Grandpa. He's up there. And so he did. And this time... He let out another scream, but this time I heard this, and a rattlesnake was there. And that's why he ran away the first time. He was scared of the rattlesnake. And now he went back, and the rattlesnake was now getting a little bit upset. It was rattling its rattle. So we knew it was there. So, boy, I rushed over there, and he was running, running away from it by that time again. This time I grabbed him and looked around to see if he had any bites on him, and he didn't. And, uh, later on, he remembered the story, and he says, well, the snake started to climb his leg, he said, but as it turned out, he, he thought maybe it wasn't because uh, he didn't propose any danger to the snake. But anyway, as it happened, I yelled at Dad, and I says, hey, there's the, the snake here, and he, he came down and killed it. But anyway, got Alex out of there, he'd sort of overcome that, and the girls never got to get up and look at any TP rings, and we actually didn't find any. And so after that particular part of the adventure, we decided to go back, back to Berthet, which is our hometown there. So, and we kept the, the, the snake. It became Alex's trophy. And he was holding the snake like this. It was probably reached the floor from here. And he was carrying it by the head, the neck here. Uh, he was real proud of this snake. And we went back to the house, and my mother and my wife and a bunch of ladies were there. And, Alex, we let Alex go in first. He came running into the kitchen with this dangling this snake out there like this. And you should have seen all the ladies, they're panicked. And they all ran, running around, getting out of there. And they all, much of them left because they, <laughs> they get, out, get out while they could. And anyway, that was uh, uh, the end of the, this was the end of that particular experience. But uh, I got this rattle somewhere. And uh, when I find him, I'm going to give him to Alex.